With its overhauled masking tools, DxO Photo Lab 9 is better than ever at handling even the most complex masking challenges. In this video, we're going to demonstrate one of its biggest improvements, the ability to combine multiple masks to tackle advanced masking problems in landscape photography. So let's dive right in. To demonstrate, let's work on this raw image taken around sunset. As you can see, it beautifully captures the warm hues of the sky and the gentle ripples on the water. However, the rock formation is severely underexposed, hiding the rich textures and details I saw in person. What I'd like to do is to brighten just the rock without affecting the rest of the image. Now, if you're a beginner, your first instinct might be to use DxO's global adjustment sliders like I'm doing here. Unfortunately, that doesn't work very well. For example, the shadow slider affects not only the rock, but also the sky and water, which reduces contrast and gives the image a flat, washed-out look. Since global adjustments don't isolate the rock properly, the next step is to create a precise mask that limits the adjustment to just that area. But that's easier said than done. The rock's complex edges, fine details, and soft lighting gradients make it hard for most automatic tools to separate it cleanly from the background. Thankfully, with its new and improved masking tools, DxO Photo Lab 9 is more than capable of handling this challenge. I'll start by navigating to local adjustments. Now, which masking tool should we use? Unfortunately, subject masking won't work here since the rock has an unusual shape and isn't easily recognized like more common subjects such as people or animals. No problem, I'll use the next best thing, the control line, which works great for targeting underexposed areas. I'll drag a control line across the image. Next, I'll move the picker to sample the dark rock. The EXO will use that sample to identify and mask all areas with a similar tone and color. And just like that, our mask is created. As you can see, a sublayer has been created beneath the main adjustment layer. Inspecting the mask, it's impressively precise. It correctly handles the complex edges and fine gaps in just one step. However, it's not perfect. Parts of the sky aren't completely black, which means any adjustment will slightly affect that area. While we could use negative control points to refine the mask, that would take several extra steps and likely be less accurate. Thankfully, with Photolab's new AI tools, there's a much easier way. We can refine the mask by subtracting a sky mask from the existing one. Since we want to refine the existing mask rather than create a new one, we'll need to make a sub-mask first. Otherwise, Photolab would generate a completely new mask, which isn't what we want. So I'll click the Create a Sublayer button. Then navigate to the subject presets and choose sky. As you can see, the sublayer has been updated and automatically named AI Mask Sky. Unfortunately, looking at the sky mask, it's shown in white, which means it's been added instead of subtracted. And that's not what we want. No problem, we can fix this by simply inverting the mask. I'll right click on the sky mask and choose invert shape. And that does the trick. The sky mask has now been flipped and correctly subtracted from the control line mask. Here's the control line mask on its own. And here's how it looks after subtracting the sky mask. As you can see, it's a big improvement. Next, let's work on removing the water from the mask. For this, I'll select the brush tool. While brushing, I'll hold down the Alt or Option key to activate Erase Mode. Once again, a new sublayer appears beneath the main adjustment layer. This one is automatically named Brush Mask. With the mask looking good, let's move on to the adjustments. I'll start by increasing the exposure and shadow sliders to brighten the rock. As you can see, DxO does an excellent job recovering the fine details and textures in the rock. Notice too that the adjustments don't affect the sky or the water at all. Exactly what we want. 
Next, I'll enhance the rock's clarity using the Micro Contrast Slider, one of DxO's standout tools. It really helps make the rock pop. Zooming in, you can see that even with these strong adjustments, artifacts are very well controlled with no harsh halos, a testament to DxO's precision. And as the finishing touch, I'll sharpen the rock's details even further using DxO's unique and powerful Lens Sharpness Optimization tool. As you can see, it makes a big difference. Next, let's work on the sky. While we could repeat the same process as before, an easier way is simply to reuse the existing mask, since the sky is essentially the inverse of the foreground. I'll right-click on the layer, choose Duplicate, and there the layer has been copied. Now I'll clear out the adjustments carried over from the previous layer since I want a different set of adjustments for the sky. Next, I'll invert the mask and just like that, we've got a pretty accurate sky mask, although it does need a bit of refinement. I'll use the brush tool to remove the water from the mask and then I'll use the Auto Mask tool to clean up the small gaps around the rock. Now I'll boost Clear View and Saturation to enhance the sky's color and depth. Here's the before and the after. As you can see, it's a pretty outstanding result, just like what I saw with my own eyes. So that's how you can create a super precise mask by combining Photolab's powerful masking tools, the control line, AI sky mask, auto mask, and brush. Something that simply wasn't possible in earlier versions of Photolab. So I hope you found this video helpful. By the way, if you'd like to get DxO Photolab 9, do help support our channel by using code Take 15 at checkout for 15% off. All the links are in the description below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.